We end tonight with the latest advance in cancer care. It begins at the patient's home. Here's Mark Strassman. Oh, that was him who was out here. A stranger gave Patricia Curry the lift she needed. Bless you. You too, baby. In more ways than one. She's 58 and on her way to treatment for stage three breast cancer. Because when you're going through this, you need to try to think positive. So one stress you don't need is worrying about how you're going to get to and from. Exactly. I've cried in many days just thanking God, you know, because they was right on time, you know. She's talking about chemo cars, a service in Metro Charlotte offering free rides to cancer patients getting treatment. Thank you so much. It's Zach Bolster's brainchild and passion. Cancer can be scary and feel uncontrollable, and we want to take this one piece of the process, transportation, and make it simple so they can focus on what matters most, getting better. Bolster's mother, Gloria, had stage four pancreatic cancer. He quit his job on Wall Street and moved to Charlotte to drive her to doctor's appointments and chemo sessions. Bolster noticed that many patients, often older and lower income, missed treatments because they had no reliable ride. It was heartbreaking and unfair to see that some people didn't have the exact same shot at beating cancer as others. In December 2016, Bolster's mother died. He launched Chemo Cars. It coordinates with Uber and Lyft, and donations pay for the rides. So once the ride comes, all the stress is gone. Yeah, I'm good. Once you're here, you're good. Yes. I'm, I'm praying that it'll help a whole lot of other people. Since last uh, March, I need a pickup. Chemo Cars has provided more than 2,000 rides. Bye -bye. Your mom, the inspiration in some senses, is she along for every ride? Everyone who calls Chemo Cars is actually calling my mom's old phone number. So she kind of lives on with every ride. Right, baby. <laughs> Bolster filled a gap a in cancer baby. care with kindness. Ooh. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Charlotte, North Carolina.